Hello friends this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBP Nuts video series on data structure and algorithm series and this video is about root to leaf sum in binary tree so as you can see here you have this binary tree here and sum what sum we are looking from root to leaf in any path is like let's suppose 24 so your job is to find is there any path from root to leaf any of the leaf which sums to 24 or any given number this video is sponsored by C++ Builder, a full-featured C++ IDE for building Windows applications quickly. Our customers deliver apps to market five times faster using C++ Builder than with other IDEs. That's because of our rich visual frameworks and expensive libraries. Prototyping, developing and shipping are very easy with C++ Builder. C++ Builder integrates with continuous build configuration using MS Build and CMake and has HTTP and REST client library on all platform to invoke REST services and search specific AWS and Azure components. Link is given in the description field, you can check it out. So if you see this, 10, 8 and 3, this is not 24. 10, 5, 15 and then this is 26, this is not 24. 10, 5, 9, this is actually 24. So how you will find this because this is looking very trivial but you may have millions and billions of nodes. So let's write the algorithm for that. So the whole idea is you will pass this 24 here when you're passing this root. So you know that okay it is going to work in a recursive fashion and you will pass this 24 and as this root is not a leaf node you will traverse. So you can either traverse right or left. I'm going to left. But when you are reaching left, what you are doing, you are passing 24 minus 10 here. So this is going to be 14. Is this leaf node? No, it is not. Then you are again going to traverse and this time, yes, you guys did correctly. 14 minus 8, this is going to be 6 now here. Okay, so you came from here to here, here to here. Now is this leaf node because you are searching leaf, right? So if this is leaf node and this number what you received from your parent is not equal to your number, meaning this is not the path. So this is the idea. So if this is not the path, as we said in the beginning, this is not the path. The path is this 10, 5 and 9. So we are going to return false from here. And from 8, we went left. Now it's time to go right, but there is nothing here. So we'll return false from here. Sorry. Now you're done with the left hand side of this 10. Now you'll go to the right. So as you will go to the right, what you will do, you'll do 24 minus 10. So here 14 will come. Now from here, you will go to left. Left node will receive 9. Is this leaf node? And yeah, all these checking like from here to here, you will see that, okay, is this a leaf node? If it is not, then you will traverse. So now you reached here by subtracting this sum with this node number, then you received 9 at this leaf, you will check is this leaf? Yes it is. But this 9 and 11 are not equal. Then you will return false from here. Now left hand side is done, you will go to the right hand side and you will subtract 5 from 14. You will receive 9 here. Is this leaf node? Yes it is. And the number you received is 9. They are actually equal. Meaning now you have the path. So as you are returning true from here, you will keep the track like I'm going to return 9 from here. So in some list, you will push 9 because this is the place you found true. So from here, you will receive true here at 5. Now you know that, okay, 5 is also contributing. So you will make this 5 also the entry. From here also, you will return true. And then you will come to know that, okay, this 10 is also contributing. And anyway, it, is, has, to con it has to contribute because it is root. So you will make this 10 also in the entry. So this is the path. So you'll return true from here. Now let's quickly look at the code. So this is how your root to leave some function would look like. You have this root pointer. So initially you will pass this and sum is like 24. So we have root is 10, sum is 24. If root is equal to equal to null pointer then return false. So in our case it is not. Then we'll see is this a loop leave node? I said right. You always have to check whether it is a leaf node. If it is leaf node, then you will check whether the sum is equal to the root value. And then if that is the case, you will make that sum or root value list. So you will push that number in, in the list and in the end you will have the list. So for now we have root and this condition will not true because it is not a leaf node. We'll go here root to leaf. It will again call it with itself. So roots 
tens left is now this one we have eight so this time it will be eight but see some minus root value so root value is 24 because we pushed 24 here we can see that and this time it is going to be 24 minus 10 which is 14 so we'll receive 8 here and 14 here again we'll go ahead and these conditions will not hold true we'll go again left so left of 8 is 3 so we'll go 3 here sorry 3 and this time 14 minus 8 it is going to be 6 so we'll send 3 from here and 6 from here We'll receive here root is not equal to null correct but then this 3 is actually a leaf node we'll get this roots left is equal to equal to null pointer and roots right is equal to equal to null pointer as true here because 3 is the root node now I mean this is what we passed here so root will become 3 now so this is true then we have to check if roots value is equal to equal to sum so sum is 6 and roots value is now 3 so this will not be true and in that case we'll return false from here so we'll returning false from here meaning we'll come back come back to from here to here this line then you're going from here to here now as you have reached back you went from 8 to 3 because of this line now as this is false you will not go inside this you will go and execute this one and roots left sum here you will say roots right and that time as you are at this point you have roots right I mean it's right is null so you will pass null here with 6 and the moment you will call this you will reach here and roots will be equal to equal to null pointer it will return false so it will return false you will not go inside this and you will return false from here meaning you will go back from here to here again so as you can see that you have done your left portion of root okay now let me erase this so as you're done from left now you have to go right so let me erase these things also so how you will go right you would have went from 10 to 8 because of this line now as you have got returned as false here for this node you will go for right right so you will execute this line now so this time 5 is going and we have 14 here so this is how it is going to look like 5 and 14 okay because sum is still 24 here because this is the first stack this is second stack this is third stack so I raised two stacks right from here now we are at the first stack again and you went to left portion now you have to go to right portion because of this so let's go there so 5 will go here it is not null it's okay this is not true because 5 is not a leaf node we'll go ahead and we'll see roots left meaning 5 left is 11 now you will send 11 so let's do that 11 and then sum would be 14 minus 5 that is going to be 9 and we'll send 9 from here this 11 as it is calling itself it will reach again here 11 is not null pointer and 11 is leaf node 11's left will be null pointer 11's right will be null pointer then it is a leaf node you will see that roots value is equal to equal to sum no it is not because 11 is not equal to 9 then in that case you will return false then you will return false from here to here so you went back from here to here and with false value now you called yourself because of this line right so as you're returning you will obviously come to this line and you you returned false here right so false will come here and it is not going to get inside this if loop because if uh, statement because you got fa false here then it will go to the next one root to leave sum and this one is fives right hand side so this is going to be wait a minute 9 this time and sum is like 14 minus 5 9 cool you will call yourself with this now you have reached root is not equal to null pointer yes it is correct now 9 is a leaf node yes it is a leaf node and you will see that okay roots la value is equal to equal to sum yes it is correct then now you know that you have found it so list dot push you will first insert this 9 in the list so you got 9 in the list you will return true from here so you will get true here okay 
So true meaning you will go inside this and list dot push back roots value. So here root was five. Don't forget that. So because you pushed roots right, which was nine. So here root was five because you are back now. So you'll insert five. So let's make that entry. And after pushing that, you are returning true from here, meaning you're returning from here to here. True. Okay. True. So, so you will come back to this line again because you have returned from right hand side, right? And this is for left hand side and this is for right hand side. So if you're returning from here to here, meaning you went from here to here sometime and you can only go from here to here with this right hand side traversal. And this is for left hand side traversal. You're going left, you're going right. So if you're going from here to here, then in that case, you are going back to this line again. And as you have returned true, this will go inside and it will make its own entry. And this roots value is that time 10. So we have 10 here. Okay, so this is the list. Now you have the list and it will return true here. So as it is going to return true, it will complete this whole function and go back to the caller with true value. So this is how this whole thing will work. I hope you would have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care.